Alright, so we're coming at you with another update video on the NES uh, GPU build. Uh, right now we're working on some uh, sound effects for the console. Um, so I'm utilizing the Adreno. Um, and I have that coming out to two little buzzer speakers. This Adreno it doesn't actually have enough onboard memory to have a music file, but if you tell it tones to play, it can play and uh, it sounds like an 8-bit system, so it works perfectly. I have it wired up to the NES uh, front switches. Uh, so far I'm not using the reset button. The power switch activates the Adreno, so we'll go through that in a second. We'll start off with with the, the wires. Um, yeah, we're just going to have it this way. It's going to be this way to see it. Um, so the top wire is white. And like I said, it's really easy to figure out if you look at the the trace, so not these dark lines, but the lighter green lines, that's pretty much, that's the trace. So, you know, you got one here, and then one over here, and one here, down here, this thin line here, and then one right here. Uh, so, for the first one, white comes over this way to this pad. This is for the LED power light. And then this skinny one right here comes up to this wire, which is orange. So orange is the ground wire, and white is the uh, the positive wire for the light. Um, from what I've read, it is 3.3 volts, so you put 3.3 volts on this stop pin, and grounds down here. Next we have the power switch, which is right here, and it uses these two pads. So that's going to be the second pin and the third pin. The two are next to each other. And that's going to give us uh, red and brown. Now, since it's just a switch and either the contacts are touching or they're not touching, I don't think it matters which one is which. Um, but red and brown are your, your power switch. And the reset switch is get my little tool out this pin and it shares the ground wire with the, the LED um, so they both use the same ground wire and that last pin is yellow so the reset switch if you're going to use it for some application would be the yellow and then I have it all hooked up to my little DC power supply so we'll flip that on you can see we got about five volts, um, which is what the Adreno needs. And then if we hit the power button, we get the power light, and so we get some music playing. Um, this is not something I designed or programmed. Uh, I'll put a link in the description for all the information I used to make it. But uh, yeah, just a little. A little fun thing to use the front controller panel with. Um, I'll put it at the end of the video a, a pinout of what all the wires do since no one on the internet seemed to want to tell me. It's not too hard to figure out, but uh, I'll, I'll put the, the pin out so everyone else can have easier time figuring that out. Alright, uh, and that's it. That's the update right now. Um, waiting on one more piece for the NES and then we'll be done for everything. Uh, have a good night. Bye bye.